something you also were saying allied command um something else you added something else to it earlier so there's you've got a lot of those things tj ACOs. Well, yeah that's why i put it under the umbrella of american communications online see now all uh-huh. of them say that see i mean they're all under that one uh umbrella corporation which is american communications online all of them are the d- division of that because that's the business Keeping it real, that's what we would have people to make checks out to, make payments that. And then we have the different tracks. If they went into UFO Association or UFO Secret Space or Alien Contact or whatever the topic or track was for that day, you know, because they may not buy a ticket into every room with every speaker if we get into events. But we're talking overall information, just like the History Channel. We can have ACO Radio. We can have ACO UFO Association organizers discussion which we're having tonight but you're right that would be easiest because it's already set up with the license and uh people know we're doing business in cyberspace but you know it's would, building um, a club tj would calling it american communication online doesn't that kind of alienate us from the rest of the world europe asia south america south pole well i'm already I'm already an Allied Command off planet, so on the planet, I have TJ Mars Agency, too, and I have TJ Mars ET Radio, but these are all brands that have established. But as far as the acronyms, the government's very much on ACE and ACO in the United States of America. But as far as universally, that's why the UFO Association stands out. It lets people know immediately what they have built up through the Cold War even though they call them anomalous, anomalous phenomena, your John Q. public that we're educating doesn't know that. But, yeah, uh, we've got Allied Command as a division of the home corp. It's like the holding corp. You know, in stock, what do you trade as? ACO, three right. letters. Versus, yeah, it has uh, to be based somewhere. You know, and, and America is just, the, you know, that's where the, the – the, uh, Headquarters. Corporation part is that at is is all. It can be worldwide, even though it says America. You know, oh, okay. a television show called Amazing Race is a beautiful story, and they go all over the world, and it's very good for the entire world because you get to see all the cities and all that, and they go all over the world, and I just love it. It's called Ama- the Amazing Race, but you know, it depends on what yep. we're working towards. But the main thing is the four of us come together. And uh, go forward in a newsletter, and the main thing is that we're working together. And then from there, we've got all these people out there working with each one of us in social media groups. I just happened to start a bunch. Janet started a bunch, and then we cross over in each other's groups. But, you know, that doesn't – as Janet and Ken, you can attest to with Lewis Reinhardt and and Andrew Bishago, just as friends of ours – that we all met. I met folks, Janet, and I haven't met a mad yet, but we're planning to maybe in the next year or two having our own little event as a fundraiser, which organizations do. Associations, unincorporated associations, they have groups and they have fundraisers. So we're talking about having our own in the future. We don't know, but the money would go into American Communications Online as a fundraiser. Now we're talking about 50% profit and 50% not profit. And I've had that set up for years as ACE and ACO, but we can discuss what those mean. But as far as the articles and bylaws and a real professional association, I've had the same one with a history for years back to Hawaii, and that's called the ACO Association with articles and bylaws for Ascension Center, Ace Metaphysical Institute, my Ascension Psychic Awakening classes which David Wilcock is going to be teaching now, I understand. <laughs> so, I mean, everything I've done historically, there's a lot of people out there doing the same thing. So I used to put my clothes on runways in Las Vegas and Chicago and New York and Dallas. I had showrooms I paid 5000 a month for all over the nation, Atlanta, Dallas, New York, uh, Chicago, California, you know, L- L.A. Mart. So I know that even though I did all this and put all this money into my products, my handbags, small other goods, shoes, purses, you name it, showrooms next to you know, uh, very famous people in the showrooms, big names you'd know, and have people like Gucci and Louis Vuitton, same people in Italy and France making my stuff with my logo, that the government already knows I know what I'm doing and that I know how to do it. That's not the question. The question is – who are the people you want to work with 
and do they have a soul and is their heart in the right place? But we came together because UFO is the word with the discussion that we all had in common. But we also are about disclosure and forming a group of people that want to be with other people for the right reasons because we only have so much time. So I have a spiritual science community. So I want to keep my Sunday show, but I'm, I'm, I'm working on how to get that built again too. And that's where the Ascension Center came in and the lessons for Ascension Age. So we'll just have to figure who falls into what slot, so to speak, because we can't do everything. Lord knows I keep trying, and uh, it is hard, Ahmed, but Ahmed's agreed to help me with American Communications Online, which is organizing the ACO, which is the Allied Command Organization as well, and the UFO Association, and I promote acoassociation.com and ufoassociation.org. And then I'm forwarding my, my company, American Communications Online, over to ACO Association as the hub. And I will have Janet, uh, Mad, and Ken's name on those. And then as far as the future radio shows, panel leaders, and all that, there may be other people that want to be involved. And then I'll work with authors and journalists, agents, consultants, organizers. And we're really interested in the future and I'm all about trying to get us some books written with the future, and it's fun to see what comes out of other people's minds in the science fiction genre, you know. But this is an honor. This is how I feel, guys, if you want to help me. But Thomas R. Morris brought us the Allied Command and the patch, and I asked uh, uh, Ken to step up to his place as a commander because the, this was very real to me off planet. So I was called Commander Morris. He was called Commander Morris, so that was already confusing. <laughs> I'm used to that. But now we've got Awakening the Allied Command, so to speak, and how do we go forward? So uh, everybody's got an idea. Everybody can do the same thing. Everybody can have their own YouTube. But the things I'm going to promote out there will probably be with the ACO, UFO, and uh, how we come together and, and work together in the future. And uh, just it's already the intelligence. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's already right. created, and it, you already have it created, and and it's easy to step in it. It gives it almost ready made for us to be able to pick right up and keep going the same way it was you were headed. So, I'm I'm good with the the ACO. Uh, uh, any of the others? How do you feel about it, Janet? Or... Oh, I'm live. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Um, I think it's a great name. That's what I said. <laughs> you came up with it. I go, you got a winner here. And she comes up with some really good names. And I said, wow, this is it. And so, um, you know, I, I think we should do it. If somebody uh, protests, we can address it at that time. But I think uh, we might have it covered yep. by having that well, name that the uh, mad call. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, we're running out. Yes. Oh, I'm right. two minutes left. Um, mad, you're going to put it in line. you got two minutes left. The, the only thing I, I was saying was is when, when you Google just that, it comes up with the government stuff. That was the only reason I said add the other. Of course, eventually, if we get enough stuff out there, we'll blow the governments off the Google. Google. And <laughs> by the cool. way, the dark web is not a bad thing. The dark web is just 90% of the Internet is not indexed. The indexed yeah. sites is what Google has. The rest of the Internet is not indexed. That's what the dark web is called. So, and TJ, we can get educated um, about are you, that, right? I mean, are, are you, are you referring to what? Allied Command Organization, organization, or the American Communications Online? Well, or the, how you blend the, two? American, the company is American Communications Online, Ken, that's already set up. That's just a, a name that a business that's gone through all the red tape. But under that, we can do d DBAs. Divisions, but you and you and uh, well, all of us would just run it through there because it's established and it's a Florida Agreed. company. But after that, I will run uh, PayPal uh, to these uh, domain names, and then we we can set up our own artwork. Like right now, uh, Ahmad and I are both on Deviant Art, but uh, and then all of us are on Patreon. I believe we all got a Patreon account. So what we'll do. Can is actually educate everyone as to the tools and software we use 
until we get our own written, and we can have our own forums and newsletter monthly or whatever. Okay. I've been able to do all that. I just hadn't had the time to get my company organized, and everybody can do what we're doing, every individual, the, and that's what the government wants. They want everybody working in cyberspace for free now, just like everybody promotes and, and posts on Facebook free. You know, and now the government uses that and can use it in court against you, believe it or not. And I've seen it done, and I've heard it done. So whatever data – it's data. It's content providing. We're all providing content in cyberspace. Now, the trick is to decide who you would like to work next to with as a personal or professional. And you like the word for me not to say play, which I mean because I'm not getting paid social media and Facebook or doing social content. You're but doing good. professionally, when you get paid a dollar to do something, you become a professional. You got paid to do that. So I would like to all of us be entrepreneurs, independent contractors with that understood, and that uh, you know, if we have to, as a company and as an organization, after they make, I think it's 675 as an individual, instead of volunteering, they got paid through the company at an event, then we would have to send them a form of paper that the IRS recognizes as an independent contractor. So as far as running the company, I know how to do all that, and it's not a problem. But as far as profit or nonprofit, we had established, at least with Mad and I, that we'd like to start making money and put 50% profit and 50% nonprofit, sort of like most people have. You know, But we'll, we'll, we'll contend with all that. But right now, if you guys can agree with the articles and bylaws of the ACO Association, that's just what I've used with my psychic, metaphysical, whatever we write books, ebooks, whatever we're doing, radio shows. I just say this is set just as a guideline, and we can do our etiquette and policies and all that as we go. We can revise them. All four of us can get together, go forward. But uh, you know, we all got a that part, and started. we all get at what we do. The thing is, learning to work together. I, I'm just going to keep come back to. It's the people. It's not the data. It's the people. It's not the computers, right? And so that's the part I mean about the soul is let's start fact-checking and know the people we're getting involved in. And let's meet them and tell them they have to be with us at least one year and meet us like I went to meet you, Ken, and I went to meet you, Janet, and I will soon be meeting a mad by 2020, I hope, in the next year. But I'm pretty sure Mad's a human with a soul. I would be very hard pressed to think he wasn't. After seven years, come on. <laughs> I, I'm all soul, sister. And okay. he's also a um, alien. Yeah, I want to be sure I get uh, Mad's um, email address. Well, I'll get it offline. So because I want to send you um, all the things I have on the my, artwork and stuff for our organization. My, my. My email address is themadpainter13 at yahoo.com, and I answer all emails. So if somebody's got questions about any of this, they can email me. The Mad, T O G Mad, right? A Mad, the Mad, not a Mad. The Mad Painter. The Mad Painter. T H E M A D. P A I N T E R 13 at yahoo.com. Got it. And if they want to be, okay. if they want to participate, uh, now, Ken, you're going to be setting up and you've agreed because uh, one of the gentlemen called from Virginia that wanted to be in this. And you know, you've got the national director, is Dr. Bruce McAbee. So uh, we've got oh, Bruce. Please, yeah. And that, and that uh, what is that, Janet? The gentleman with the T. Uh, Gosh, what is his name? Tr- Charles, the one Charles that- Charlton. Charlton? Charlson. Is that what you're... Yeah. I don't know if it's... Tra- it's Charlson is his last name, Ken. T-R-A-U-L-S-E-N. Charlson. Hugh Charlson, my brother's name, Hugh. H-U-G-H T-R-A-U-L-S-E-N has been with us from the inception of TJ Mars CDT Radio, and he wants to make sure we have a veterans night that he can participate in with all the veterans that are retired or want to do, you know, proud to be an American type of VA story, or we can do the Supreme Allied Command with all the headquarters in Europe 
and follow Bob Dean night so we can talk more intelligence or military history. So we need one of those nights, which, Ken, you could run with the chain of command and the National Archives for uh, 